The next nice girl habit you need to break is giving undeserved second chances, all right? Now, let me make clear right now, I am not against second chances in general. I do believe that there are many cases where it is, it's the right thing to do, plain and simple. And I do believe that people deserve a second chance in many cases. However, this is about undeserved second chances. Now, the question becomes, how do we know it's undeserved? Well, I'm gonna give you the number one way right now. You know it's undeserved. If this man does not understand what he did wrong, does does not own up to it and does not give an explanation of how this will be fixed going forward, it's undeserved. So let me make it clearer. Let's just say man flirts with other women on IG in the DM. All right, he's sliding in DMs and he's been doing his thing, right? You catch him, you ain't like it. You're like, yo, we're not doing that. You walk away from him. He's like, all right, I'm sorry. I it, won't, it won't happen again. To me, the I'm sorry doesn't, like anyone can say I'm sorry. It's like you have to ask someone, okay, do you understand why that was a problem? Do you understand the issue here? If he cannot explain to you why this was an issue, then to me it shows that he does not grasp the problem He's just trying to gloss over it, move forward, get back in your good graces and move on with things. You've got to see if there's really true change from within. It's not just changing on the surface, it's changing from within. And I'm a believer that if there's not a true understanding of the problem, how can someone change from within, all right? I think also another example of unde undeserved chances is that we've already been through this a few times before. We've talked about this. We've been clear about what is an issue, what is unacceptable, and you keep doing it. Why are we still giving chances? On the flip side, let's just say this man did something that he did not know was a problem for you. And I know some of y'all may say, well, how could someone not know that's a problem? I mean, no matter what it is, there's people who think like that sometimes. But the reality is that, listen, we're all raised differently. We don't always see things the same way. We, we've we experienced different things. So we may not see certain things as disrespectful that you may see as very disrespectful. And so if that has not been communicated and this person does it, to me, that's an opportunity for, okay, they can get a second chance because now that we talked about it, it's understood. All right, let's try this again. But if we try it again and they do it again, why are we still giving chances for? It just doesn't make, it doesn't do you any favors. But here's another big one I have to mention that's coming to me right now. At the end of the day, it's about you ignoring your intuitions. What I mean is, even if like, there's some situations, because I think sometimes people think that it's only about walking away from the toxic person, walking away from the bad person, right? Sometimes it actually is just walking away from a good person that you're not a good fit with. And so if something went left for whatever reason, not because they're a bad person, just an honest mistake or whatever, that might be your blessing in disguise to finally shake you loose from this attachment and walk away rather than trying to hold on to someone because they're good, but they're not really good for you. Doesn't make sense. And I feel the need to also say this. I'll even use an extreme example. I've said this before on my tours. You know, some of you have been cheated on and believe it or not, it was a good thing you got cheated on. And I'm saying specifically for the people who you were in a bad relationship. You knew it was bad. You knew it was unhealthy, but you were having a very hard time letting go. And that cheating broke you free. It allowed you to finally walk away the way that you needed to. So though it was hurtful, though I don't wish that on you or on anybody, it was a blessing because you needed something to shake you loose. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. A lot of women have experienced a good man. I repeat, a lot of women have experienced a good man. Now don't go shaking your head. Don't go throwing your hands in the air. Don't switch to another video.